There are people who say they're into food, and then there's me. Constantly hungry, and the type of person who plans my trips completely around where I'm going to eat. In this episode, we explore South Korea's Kwanjan Market and try the top five street eats to try when you come to Seoul. <laughs> She's the one making the mandu. <laughs> We have kimbap, which is like basically a Korean sushi, but don't dare call it sushi because it is different. So the rice is seasoned differently. It is seasoned with a sesame oil, and then also on the top of the seaweed, it is also brushed with sesame oil and then garnished with sesame seeds. And inside, it has some vegetables and also some pickled radish. So let's try it out. Honestly, there is no way that you could not like this. Oh, this is so good. Next, we have one with a perilla leaf. If you're wondering what a perilla leaf is, it's a leafy green herb commonly used in Korean cuisine in pickled side dishes and as a wrap. The taste has a touch of freshness, similar to how mint and basil does. Honestly, I'm considering ordering another round. So next, we have dakboki, and this is a spicy rice cake. So, I've been seeing this everywhere. So I'm really excited. This is my first time ever trying something like this. I haven't had it since I've been here. So let's see the real reaction. It's much chewier than I expected. The sauce, spicy. Almost like the sauce is quite thick. The sauce almost has like a bit of a Maybe like a little bit of sweetness. To me, this is mildly spicy in regards to Korean standards of spice that I've had so far. Some things have been incredibly spicy, and I feel like I have a pretty good tolerance for spice. But sometimes, you know what? I couldn't handle it. Those are the first two done, so let's check out what else there is to eat. We've made it to another stall, and what I've ordered is one of my favorite things, which is mandu. Mandu are dumplings, and Oh, I'm a big dumpling girl. I really am. Oh, look at that steam coming out of that. It's actually rolling the dough right here. It's amazing. It's being made fresh. All right. So they give me the sesame dipping sauce. I think it's basically sesame oil with sesame seeds. Okay. Dip it and eat it. How can you not like dumplings? There's just something so nice and comforting about a big dumpling. Oh, and of course it came with a little bit of pancho. I have a little bit of kimchi here. So pancho are small dishes that come with your meal. Basically, my Korean friend told me that if there's not at least one pancho, that there's gonna be a riot. <laughs> <laughs> She's the one making the mandu. Honestly, mandu is one of my favorites. So excuse me while I finish my day. So we're on spot number four, and what we are having is jun. So jun is battered vegetables or fish. My favorite is fish jun. So I grew up on this in Hawaii, and it is something I always order when I go home. So I'm finally having the real deal. I'm really excited about it. I hope it lives up to my jun expectations. So there you see it. It's a battered piece of fish. Yes, I'm still shaking because I'm hungry and I want to eat. All right, so let's get going. All right, and she gave me this dipping sauce and it has onions and chili peppers in it. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm just gonna dip it in the sauce first. So let's try it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take one of the pieces of onions in here. Don't be afraid about the onions in these sauces because they've actually been marinating. So they're actually not as pungent or as strong as normal onions or raw onions. This is the way you're actually supposed to eat it with the onion on top. So let's, let's do that. Mm. The onion almost enhances it, honestly. It kind of almost adds like a sweet spice to it. Not like spice, but you know that heat that you get from an onion. 
Mm. I got the onion again. I'm gonna dip it in the sauce. So now we have some zucchini junk. I'm just gonna try it without the sauce, just because. It's kind of that oily goodness that's going on there. Oh, something so comforting about all that oil. I'm gonna do a little chili pepper. Should you see with this? A little bit of makgeolli. So makgeolli is usually drank when you have jun or like the fried things here. So it's something that goes like hand in hand. You're kind of like, you know how beers and wings in America go together? It's kind of like the same thing. Makgeolli and fried food. <laughs> <laughs> and it's traditionally drank with, with friends. So you're supposed to drink it with others. So we're on our final street eat, which is actually a sweet one. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty full by this point, but I couldn't leave without trying something sweet. So here we have, it's called Boon Ok Han. I think that's how you say it, that's how they told me to say it. So here you go. It's basically this like fish bread with filling. So it can come with sweet or savory, and I got sweet obviously, and Usually it comes with a red bean filling, but all they had left was the cream. So let's try it out. Okay, I just got the bread. I just got the bread. Let's give it another go. Ooh, super hot. I didn't expect it to be so hot. Mmm, it's kind of like a nice custard inside. You know, I didn't really think this was gonna be my thing, but I'm kind of digging it. You know, I was only gonna have a bite of this, but Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and exploring Seoul's top five street eats with me. If you got something out of this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button because I have more videos coming. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm totally gonna finish this. If it's your first time heading to South Korea, make sure not to miss my full guide to Seoul, complete with local tips on what to do, where to stay, and most importantly, where to eat.